Okay, sorry about that. I had to uh, kill that video because I got a message on Facebook saying Warner Brothers or somebody is, you know, that you're using their music, so your video will be no longer be discoverable on YouTube or uh, Facebook. So I, uh, I'm going to continue from, from there, but I'm going to not play any music, which is not as much fun. Because music definitely gives me vibes to do it. All right, so let's just come up with my own little thing here. Let's just... I'm not going to let that get me down. Maybe I might have Blue Sky coming through here. Okay. Hi, Nugget. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Okay, let's just go like this. And bring in... I mean, I don't even know if those clouds make sense, but... Just let's just see what happens when I <clears throat> maybe blues and purples up here in this weird kind of space up here. And maybe I'll paint with blocks like this. <laughs> I gotta remember to do big broad strokes. And uh yeah. Mm -hmm. And maybe he will make it so that I'm just gonna turn off my brain and I'm just gonna just I'm just gonna let it flow let it flow I don't know let it flow turn off your brain and let it flow that is what I'm doing I'm not thinking at all. It's almost like the light is coming up. It's reaching up to the sky. It is the sky. It's so nice and calm right now. It's so nice and calm. It's so nice and calm. That's kind of what I'm thinking of. I think I need more of that. I have to whisper. I think I should mix this. That was not there. Yeah. coming from over here like this like what if there was a I don't know I don't know what's going on kind of like colors of like what are these things I need to have some general shapes. Now I do like the purple, so maybe I'll try to 
make a bit of a playing with a little bit of Kandinsky and Odile and Rodin kind of stuff. That's what I'm kind of thinking about. Just playing with this. Playing with the sky. What is the feeling of the sky going to be? I don't know. Is it going to be a what kind of mood? What kind of mood do I want it to be? It's almost getting me high, that uh, oil paint is so strong. Do I make strong, bright color coming down here? I think I should mix that with like purple or something. Do I have a purple? No, I need to get a purple. I'm taking one of the ones that was already on my table. Okay, but that's a beautiful purple. That is a beautiful color. And that's going to add to the range of things. Like, what if, should that be over here? What if, what if it was a very light purple? Very soft purple. What would that look like? No, I'm not so sure I like that. I think... Hmm. Nope. That's not what I wanted for that area. Let's just bring in these squares. Let's bring in these just straight up. Square strokes. These weird little brush strokes. Oh, and you know what this reminds me of? Hey, check this out. I unconsciously let me go. I have to go to the, the screen. I go to so you can see this is my screen. And if I go to my own art page, I did this painting of a whale a while ago and give it a second to come up look there's me live painting well that's kind of crazy it's it's i have a a private group which i had, haven't figured out what to do with yet but it's it's the picture of the private group where is it isn't there like see more uh, groups? There it is. Okay, groups. Ugh, come on. Yeah, this picture here. Why can't I open this picture? I've never actually used this group for. Anything. Okay, so this painting, this painting here. I did. When did I do that? Oh, I'm gonna say I did it about ten years ago, maybe. Any eight, five years, eight years. It's it's got the same vibe. Of the, okay, just try to see this, and I'm going to quickly switch back to the view. And then hopefully you can see the similarities, like even the redness. And I was up here putting the darkness. Now, in the, in the, in the, if you flip back to the, um, if you flip back to this, you can see there's darkness here, oranges on the bottom, and then there's blues here. Doesn't that look like the kind of what I'm doing? 
Yeah, you know, I get distracted by this kind of stuff. Okay, so maybe it's kind of neat. Not saying that's all it's going to be, but it's almost like these. It's almost like little jewels here. Wait, where, am I back to? Uh, I don't know if anybody's even watching this shit. Three people are watching. All right, that's fine. <laughs> kind of want to be a bit more stormy. I think if I bring some yellow into that purple, let's we'll see what that does. I, I like this color. It tends to go well with green. So let's just bring a bit of this storm in. Up here is this weird vortex of what is this place? And then we have our. Maybe I'll bring this green kind of strange green. What should this be? I want to get more white. Place this brush here. And I think I'm going to come in. What could be good up here, around here? Just to have some juxta. I'm going to put green in there. Yeah. Let's see if I mix this green and amber together. And then just do droplets of. This color just droplets. What kind of thing does it do? Definitely creates something, but even tiny little, tiny little stitches. You know, I don't, I don't understand. I think. have a kind of a contrast between this and then over here so I think I think I need a lot more white I think white is going to become pounding through this area oh that's the yellow I thought that was white this is the this, nope that's the yellow which is not bad I could use that but I was actually expecting there's my Remnant whites. It's got a piece of tissue on it. That's weird. Can I save some of this white? This may not be a good idea. This may not be a good idea. I don't know yet. I like the thickness. I like the goopy thickness of it. Get some white here. Bring down the white levels like it's cutting the it's cutting the edge of the clouds, right? I do need some more white. Oh you you're dead. Yeah. Yeah, I want this white line just to cut through. Somehow it's bringing light into this area here. Maybe maybe some yellows could be could be coming out of this. 
these Imperials. Fall by the oranges. <laughs> Kind of weird, but the green got mixed in there. I could also bring some of that here as if it was these guys are trying to break through. Oh, that's really that's not good. Let me just uh, what am I doing over here, sir? Oh, look at that, that red just fell. This giant chunk of red just poof, fell right down. So that's gonna be part of my painting now. Maybe a this thick, ridiculously thick paint. I love it, I love it. It's just so sick. It's like I can't even, I'm just not even, painting anymore. I'm just like putting you there. Yeah, I definitely feel like I'm high. Sitting here doing this painting. What kind of mood is this setting? What does it make you feel? What is it doing? Where's that light? Very strange, isn't it? To bring, I need to have the movement continue like into into something like it's gotta like it's gotta have more fluidity. Maybe coming across here.
Hmm. I have to switch to a new brush. Actually, pretty thick. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. If I could come up here, how do I show you? Well, it's got to be in the light. So if you can see it, it's actually quite thick. See that? It's very thick. I like doing that. Now I need some white to bring the Lord back into here. The Lord has to come and make himself known. Here, maybe. Yeah, it's almost like up here is the, the darkness, the 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 devils. The, and this is where all the angels are gonna come down. So maybe I should do some blackness up there. It's, excuse me, like the vortex of where they're they're hiding. Those dastardly devils. my friendly little orange. Oh, 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 look at this. This is going to bring some crazy.
this thing is all about the textures. This thing is all about the textures. If I can afford it, I need some pure white. I'm using um, the plan to, to Daniel. I'm using Windsor Newton Artisan Water Mixable Oil Paints. Except I screwed up at the beginning with I was using some real oil paints. And it's got a very strong odor. 
which was not my intention. I must have accidentally bought, must have accidentally purchased some real oil paints, like oil paints that you mix with linseed oil and turpentine and stuff. These are, these are, the ones I like to use are fantastic. They're water-based, so I can just wash my hands and, you know, and I can work inside, right? Like, I, I can smell the oil paint from that one. It's like, it's giving me a little bit of a headache, but, um, I actually kind of like it because I have so many memories of oil paint, um, the smell. Because to me, it's a rel it's a relatively new invention to to have. Um... Oh shit! I'm getting my hair. Fuck, water based oil paints. I've always used, you know, real oil paints. As I don't know if they want if you can define them as real, but oil paints. Yeah. Hmm. I feel so relaxed because I. It took me, maybe three four hours to like clean up my whole studio and relay the plastic and organize all my paintings. So I was like a full workout session, and now that I'm painting, I'm I've got all the endorphins from basically for me exercise rushing through my body so i'm just it's like i don't need to do drugs man i get i get high from doing this drug free maybe maybe coffee that's the only, the only drug i do is coffee <clears throat> i tried smoking for a while it's not like i tried it on purpose but one of my best friends is a heavy smoker and so whenever I'd hang out with him, I mean, we'd always go outside and have a cigarette. And then I eventually started buying packs of my own, and and I started smoking. So for about three years, I was smoking, and it was the stupidest thing I ever did. And I was able to quit it, which is good. I highly recommend no one, no one do it. it. Made you feel shitty every day. I felt terrible, but I was, I felt you know, I was addicted to it. The nicotine evil evil thing but i have heard that i think it's philip morris is it philip morris who owns the does a lot of the production of cigarettes i think they're they're changing it aren't they like going to like the what's the uh, the vape stuff the liquid you know it's still in the same area but at least they're not making straight up cancer sticks <clears throat> and, uh, one of my best friends uh a lifelong smoker he's he's probably about 45 and he's smoking since he was a teenager and his, his dad unfortunately was also a chain smoker and died of lung cancer and i think uh thankfully it smartened him up i mean that didn't smarten up it just he smartened up and made the choice and so he's quit smoking um it's probably about two months now and uh very very proud of him because it's a hard thing to do it wasn't so hard for me because I, I've, I've realized I don't I don't really have an addictive personality like I mean like I'm like I'm not a I've been around places where I could I, I've been offered all kinds of drugs and or gambling and it's just it's not me I don't I don't uh, it doesn't it's not my style but for him for sure and so we were just hanging out and like I knew he was gonna be really stressed out because of the draw symptoms. So for like for like a few weeks we would text each other and he'd just be like complaining how much he wants to kill everybody. <laughs> like, you know, a joking kill. Like he owns the company, he's like he just oh I'm just so angry all the time. I'm like, it'll pass, it'll pass. In fact I'll probably text him tonight just to see how he's doing. But he's a really good guy. He deserves to live long. Okay, so I'm going to maybe add a bit more. Oh, is someone talking? Feels like it's moving. Looks good. Thanks. Maybe I'll do like 
I need a thin, a real fine brush to do this. What color should it be? How about a light purple? Just because I got my light purple right here. It's gonna be pretty white, just too dark. Take, take a light purple. Even lighter. It needs to be just wet enough to. Okay, it's not gonna show up enough. I can tell. Just know right away. So I need a lot more white. It needs to be heavier. I need the painting on a dark color, so it won't show up as much as I might expect. That's actually pretty good. So this is like the shoreline. Maybe add more red to it. Let's see what the red looks like. Red. This is not a good brush to use. Oops. Why don't I just take that? And use that as reflection, like as if there was something there. Yeah, because sometimes that happens, right? You do get like just take things at, at a slight angle. space like that come around here come around here maybe we should come in some darker color that might be kind of cool like put a bit of darkness there Yeah, I think uh, I think I'm enjoying this a lot, and I think I might just stop soon. What I love about painting like this is sometimes I just I don't know what it means. I think it would be benefit to have really strong whites coming across here. Okay, so if I'm gonna do that, I need. Oh, this is the end of this paint. This white has life. can just see white lines coming across that's gonna bring this painting to life I might kill this little there I just killed it yep sometimes I don't have to say it I just did it all right now I'm gonna take a little brush let's try this one now this will be interesting. I may not be able to pull it off because the paint is so thick, but let's try it. Can you see that?
Okay. That's kind of nice, isn't it? You know. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up a bit. Maybe, maybe it'll just cover up the light a bit of the too happy white. Let's leave this, let's leave it at that. Hmm. Let's leave it at that. Let's leave it at that. No. Let's just uh, We're going to leave it. That's where I'm going to leave it. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 
All right, there's a little, a little painting for you. As always, I gotta wait and see how it looks um, after a day or two. <sighs> kind of feels like maybe it needs white, more big white chunk, like right, right here. Yeah, this what needs needs just. Something like that. Whoa, that is pretty fucking beautiful. Yeah, it's kind of almost like blinding. Okay. stop at some point you gotta stop right so this is my stopping point So I'll stop. Okay, how do I? Okay, I'm gonna stop there. Yeah, it does look different when you enter the screen. But I'll take a better picture. Like right now, the colors are kind of nice. I like how thick it is. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna stop. So thanks for watching. And uh, uh, maybe, I don't know what this is going to be called. I got a feeling it's not finished. I feel I got to step away and come back. But uh, yeah, it's good enough for now. So thanks. See you later.